Hey everybody and welcome back to another lecture with Coding with Roby. In this lecture we're going to learn about how we can handle errors with APIs using the HTTP exception. So the first thing we're going to do is raise an HTTP exception on the delete request method. So while this API gets called, which is the delete book, we loop through all the books to find where the book ID matches delete that book ID, and then return the book ID that was deleted. However, what do we do if the book ID does not match any of the books that we currently have? Well, in this case, we need to raise an exception so the client knows that the server is throwing an exception on something that the client is requesting. In this case, the client is requesting an ID that does not exist. So we need to import a new library into our file which is called HTTP exception from FastAPI. So from FastAPI, let's type in comma HTTP exception. And now let's scroll back down to our delete API and right underneath four. So after the for loop is complete and we did not return anything because this if statement fails, we need to say raise HTTP exception and as the parameters for the HTTP exception, we're going to say status code 404 and 404 means item is not found. So we're going to say another parameter, which is detail, which is going to be book not found. So here we're creating an exception that we're using raise. So raise means it's going to stop the computing. It's going to stop the program from rendering any more information. So as soon as this raise starts, we're going to raise and return a response, this specific HTTP exception response back to the client. And then the program is going to stop. Let's save the file and test it out. I'm going to open up our browser. I'm going to refresh our browser. I'm going to say get all books. Grab the UUID of number 70. And I'm going to scroll down to the delete. Now if we pass in this book ID, it will execute the first time as the ID is now deleted. However, if we click it again, the ID no longer exists. So we're throwing the error or the HTTP exception of book not found with a status code of 404, which matches our exception completely with a status code of 404 and details book not found. Now, another thing you can add is a header. So we can come down here and say comma headers, which is equal to brackets. And here I'm going to say X header dash error. And then I'm going to say nothing to be seen at the UUID. Now, if we save this and go back to our browser, and we refresh the page. And again, we're going to have to call this get all books to render and append all of the books. I'm just going to grab the first UUID. And down here, I'm going to say execute the first time to delete and then execute again to now cause the error of book not found. However, we can also now see in the response headers that we have the X header error, nothing to be seen at the UUID. That will match perfectly with the nothing to be seen at the UUID here in this HTTP exception. Now we want to be able to reuse this HTTP exception. So I'm going to scroll to the bottom and create a new function called def raise item cannot be found exception. And then I'm going to return the HTTP exception that we just created. So I'm going to say def raise item cannot be found exception. And I'm just going to return the HTTP exception with a status code of 404. Detail book not found. In headers, X header error, nothing to be seen at the UUID.
And now after I create this function, I'm going to grab this function, scroll back up to where we're calling this HTTP exception. And here I'm just going to say raise this function. So now if we save the file and head back to our browser and we refresh our page, call read all books, grab a UUID, scroll down to the delete functionality, try it out and paste in our UUID, click execute twice. We're going to see the same exact error of the status code 404 with the response body of book not found and X header error, nothing to be seen at the UUID. What we can do now is go through each method in our APIs and paste in our exception so all of our APIs will be now using exceptions. So let's scroll up to our put. Again, if we cannot find anything in our for loop, let's raise our exception and raise item cannot be found exception. Let's go up to our git again for our loop. And that is all for right now. In the next lecture, we're going to create a custom exception. And this wraps up how to handle an exception. And I will see you in the next video.